Good news for procrastinators tonight. If you're still looking to make plans to see the eclipse this weekend, Oregon Parks and Rec says campsites are available. K2's Christina Giardinelli looked into the best viewing spots. She's live in Salem with a story. Only a few places where people can watch all this unfold, Christina. Yeah, that's right. You know, if you're in the Portland or even the Salem region, this is going to look more like a partial eclipse. And of course, forecasted cloudy skies. So Southern Oregon is really where you want to be if you want to get a full view of the eclipse. And of course, no matter where you're going to be, if you plan to look up at that sun, make sure to put some of these on. When it comes to solar eclipses, we've had our fair share of luck here in Oregon these past few years. Total solar eclipses and annular solar eclipses are not rare. In fact, they happen about every 18 months, but you have to be in the right place at the right time to see them. Jim Todd is the director of space science education at the Oregon Museum of Science and History. In terms of rarity, this is very rare for Oregon to get both the totality and angular eclipse or close to each other. For a few minutes this Saturday morning around 920, the moon will come between the Earth and the sun, covering the center of the sun and creating what will look like a ring of fire around the shadow. It will only last a few minutes and will only be fully visible in parts of Oregon. It's going to be right over mostly southern Oregon. It's going to start over out in the, the, uh, the coast, like Reachport, going to get the first contact. And then it travels over to go to uh, Crater Lake, Klamath Falls, and then start heading down towards the Gulf of Mexico. The catch, it will likely be cloudy in most of those places. The bright spot? Kalamath and Lake Counties have a good chance at clear skies. If you're a procrastinator like me, there's good news. Oregon Parks and Recreation says campsites are still available. Stephanie Knowlton is a spokesperson for the department. In terms of reservations, the parks that accept reservations is anywhere from 22% to 77% at capacity. So still lots of room for people who want to make last minute plans. Jackson Kimball Campground in Klamath County is first come first serve. Discover Klamath is putting on an eclipse festival, which is expected to bring about three to 4,000 people over the weekend. So expect traffic. And if you're camping, pack for cold fall weather. Now, if you're still looking for a pair of these, I was able to find some at Walmart and at Home Depot. Some libraries are also carrying them as well as parks and recreation. Now, if you want a full list of the parks that still have campsites, head to our website at k2.com. For now, live in Salem, Cristina Giardinelli, K2 News. Thanks, Cristina.